Hello boys and girls, Mr. Maraviaga here, and I'm back so we can do the second reading of the garden. But before we do so, we will do some blending. Okay, we already sang the song this morning, and this afternoon we're going to do some blending. We're going to be doing long O, you may recall the cards that we used. And the spellings that we're going to do today are O by itself, O-W, I believe, and there's some O blank E. Okay, again, when we when we blend today, we're going to do long O sound. We're also going to do our Modillo, R-R-R. And the spelling for that pattern is A-R. For that sound is A-R. So our Modillo, R-R-R. Okay, let's get going. Okay, do this with me at home. This line one. Hold. Read with me. Hold. Okay. Sound. This is O blank E. O L. I mean, sorry. O. Hole. That's like a hole in the ground. Together. Oh, we also have O E pattern for long O. O. Blend. Ho. Okay. Together. K. O A. O O. Coal. I guess we had more than one pattern. We have most of the patterns, don't we? O W O O blank E O E O A. Let's see if we have some O W patterns. Line two. Okay, together. F R O T blend throat. Uh, this is a schwa. It sounds like a like a U. A uh, O O N. Mm. That's O blank E. Alone. Alone. Okay, together, boys and girls. Mm, this is short O. Mm, op, mop. What makes it long O? Magic E, right? This is M O P. This is M O P, but the E at the end makes it a long O. So what's the word? Mope. What does mope mean? It means to cry, huh? Okay, line three. A R for R. R D. Hard. D. Arc, dark, st, art, start, and g, art, n. Two syllable, garden, garden. Line four is compound words. These words look a little intimidating because they're, they're so long. They look long, but in reality, it's just two little words uh, put together. Together, please. Backwards, backwards. Somewhere, somewhere, <clears throat> bookmark, bookmark. And those two little words come together to make a complete new word. Uh, sentence one, remember, uh, you want to try to read with fluency so that you can better understand what you read. Okay, let's read it together several times. Todd went out to the garden. Okay, the underlying words are word, high frequency words that you should already know. Again, Todd went out to the garden. With fluency, together. Todd went out to the garden. One last time. Todd went out to the garden. Okay, sentence two. The seeds started to grow. The seeds started to grow. Together. The seeds started to grow. All right, boys and girls, now we're going to move to some vocabulary. The words that we're going to see or study in this story, these are easy words, okay? I wrote two sentences and then we'll just discuss the meaning of the last one. So the first word is ground. The second word is shout with ed, past tense, shouted. And the third word is frightened. Okay, figure it out by the by by reading the sentence figure out the word the ground is too dry to plant anything again the ground is too dry to plant anything okay what does the word ground mean yeah the dirt right it's too it's too dry it needs water number two the boy shouted across the room together the boy shouted across the room last time the boy shouted across the room. So what's, what does shouted mean? Shouted is another word for what word? It's for screaming, right? Okay, how about frightened? Can you make a sentence with the word frightened? 
and what does it mean? Okay, you do that. And again, if uh, you want me to see some of your works, uh, ask your moms or your dads or your grandmas, grandpas to um, to take a picture of it, and I'll look. I'll look it up, send it to me on my on my number, and then I will give you some feedback on it. Now, uh, the comprehension strategies that we're going to do today are now comprehension strategies. Before we move move along, are things that good readers do again, boys and girls, so that they can enjoy the story better, so that they can understand the story and the characters better. <clears throat> if you understand how a character is feeling you can better enjoy and better understand the story, okay? So comprehension is another word for understanding. Okay, so today we're going to do some summarizing and we're going to make be making some connections. Okay, let's do a second read. This, this will be a shorter read than the, the one this morning. <clears throat> Let me get things ready here. The Garden. Goodness. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the Garden by Arnold Lobel. Frog was in his garden. Toad came in walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog. It's, it is very nice, but it was hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. And sorry, and soon you will have a garden. How soon? asked Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. So I like to pause at this moment and make a connection because uh, again, when we make connections, we, we don't just better understand the characters, but we also understand how they are feeling. Okay, the first part of the story, in the first part we read, Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden, what a, what a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog, it is very nice, but it was hard work. So the connection that I like to make is uh, <clears throat> uh, the work that I am doing, I, I'm making a connection with a story by remembering what I'm doing outside and how long it's taking me to get my garden going. I haven't had my garden for a long time. I only started working on the garden when uh, we stopped going to school. So I've dug, I've moved dirt just today. I just got back from picking up a, a truckload in my truck of, of manure. That's the, the topsoil for, for, the, for the seeds to grow well. They need good soil. So I completely understand what Frog says when he says, it was hard work. Wow, because I'm thinking about how long it takes and, and how much effort, how much energy it takes on my behalf. So that is making a connection. I'm making a connection and I can better enjoy it. And I can understand how, how Frog feels. And it helps me better enjoy the story. I hope that you guys are enjoying it too. Okay, <clears throat> let's read the next page. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad, start growing. Let me try to get this with you guys. Okay, Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now seeds start growing. Summarizing the story helps us to remember what happened. In this story, Toad likes Frog's garden and wishes that he had one too. Frog gives some flowers, to, some flower seeds to Toad to plant. What else do you remember? What else can you share about this story? Take a few, I'll take a few minutes so that you guys can discuss it with your parents. I'll show you the picture from before. And here we go. Move along. T 
Tud looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing! Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? he asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. Toad is shouting at the flower seeds. He wants the seeds to grow so that he will have a garden. When, when they don't grow, what does uh, Toad begin to do? He begins to yell and shout at the seeds. I can understand how Toad feels. Because uh, I know that when I get upset or angry, I shout. But I can, I can also remember that nothing really happens when I shout, you know, we just get more frustrated. So, so what, what did Toad, what did Frog tell Toad? My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. Let's see what he tells him. My seeds are afraid to grow, asked Toad. Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. That's good advice, isn't it? Don't you think, boys and girls? Because what happens when we get upset? Are you making that connection? You, you, uh, you yell, you, you get frustrated, you get emotionally tired, and then some of you may even cry. And does that do anything to change things? No. We just have to, uh, you know, stop and pull back a little bit and then just let time pass. So I can tell that Frog is a good friend. He is really helping Toad out. Okay, let's go on to the next page. That night, Toad looked out his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must, they must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Do you think that the seeds will start to grow because Toad is going to read a story to them? If he said no, I agree with you. They're not going to. And let's keep going. Check my notes over here. Page 63, okay. Let's go more. Okay. Toad read a long story to his seeds. Ah, uh, the next day Toad sang songs to his seeds. You see? Sorry. And ah, uh, the next day Toad read poems to his seeds. And ah, the next day Toad played music for his seeds. Let's stop and summarize a bit. Okay, what has he done? What has Toad done for his seeds? Okay, tell me the first thing. If you recall, first thing, read poems. Second thing, Tell your brother, your sisters, or your pet, your kitty cat, your your grandpa, your grandma, someone that's there. What did he do next? He played music for his seeds. Number three. What did he do? Oh no, I made a mistake, boys and girls. The first thing, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to cheat too. Okay, the first thing that he did was read to his to his seats. The second thing was, what? Sang. The third thing was read. And the last thing was played music for them. So that's summarizing. And yes, I was cheating a little bit because I didn't want to mess this time up this time around. So here are the, okay, he's reading, he's singing. Uh, no, what's he doing here? Yes, uh, reading, singing, poems, and then music. Okay, that's, that's what we're doing essentially is summarizing so that you can better remember the story. Because 
there's no point on reading if you're not going to remember what you read. Let's skip along so that we can we can get to, to the end. Okay. Okay. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Um, well, little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad, my seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad. You were right, Frog. It was very hard work. Finally, I can better appreciate what what Toad is going through right there because, like I said, uh, working in a garden is not easy. You know, you have to dig, you have to water the seeds. If you forget to water them, they may dry up and die. So you have to keep at it. And this is what we're talking about, right? Perseverance. Now, let me give you some writing assignments that you can do at home. Tell me something that you had to try hard to learn to do. Write about something that you had to try hard to learn to do. Okay, write them up and then take a picture of them and send them to me if you like. Uh, these are other questions that I'd like you to uh, write about if you have, if you like. Um, how was the way the little red hen kept trying different than the way Toad kept trying? How is that different? Think about the little red hen. Now think about Toad. How is that the same or how is it different? Okay, uh, next, why did Toad sing and read and play music to his seeds? Why did he do that? Why do you think he did that? And last, did all those things help the seeds grow? Did all those things help the seeds grow? You can write about any of these. Uh, do your best when you write. Remember sound spellings, uh, the, the sound spelling cards. Remember, uh, if you don't know how to write a word, just Think about it, make the sounds, and don't worry so much about the spelling, okay? I just wanna be able to read and understand what you're trying to say. Uh, that is it, so remember, what I do want you to write about is, what is something that you had to try hard to learn to do? Okay, until next time. Bye-bye, boys and girls.